Good afternoon, everyone. First alert meteorologist CJ Cartledge here. It's pretty hot out there. Some areas around the Arklatex have hit that triple digit mark in terms of actual temperatures, namely Carthage and Texarkana that I've seen so far for today. And most of us are sitting in the mid and upper 90s across the area. But here's our forecast headlines as we start off the next work week. Hot and humid weather looks to continue. The triple digits look to be possible by the time we hit our Monday and Tuesday for Shreveport and Bossier and for some areas around the Arklatex. And as we head into the middle of our work week possibly by Wednesday night we can see our next uh, rain event here in the Arklatex cooling off our temperatures down to the lower mid 90s. Here's our evening planner temperatures look to fall down into the lower 90s by the time we hit around 7 p.m. Rain chances remain low. We look to be mainly dry throughout the rest of the night and clouds look to clear as temperatures will be in the 80s for most of the night here and as we're waking up on Monday morning temperatures will be in the mid and upper 70s across the area 79 near Texarkana, 79 near Shreveport, 76 near Homer and Ruston and 74 up to the extreme north and west north of I-30 but these highs for tomorrow similarly rising to the upper 90s and the lower triple digits as we saw for today uh, I'll check back in with with you guys later uh, on KSA News 12 at 530 to see if we hit that triple digit mark so far but highs tomorrow looks to be near 98 for the Queen 101 possibly near uh, Texarkana Shreveport at around 100 uh, 98 near Cushada 99 down near Natchitoches and to the south and east. That causes us to be under a heat advisory continuing until Tuesday at 7 p.m. So not only will we be receiving heat, the high heat and humidity for tomorrow afternoon, but also for Tuesday afternoon as well, as feels like temperatures will be reaching 105 and above for most areas around the Arklatex. As you can see for the forecast tomorrow, 108 for Shreveport, 109 for Marshall, 106 near Nacogdoches, and 107 down near Center in Hemphill, even the northern portions of the area near Texarkana and Hope at around 109, just below that excessive heat warning mark of 110. In terms of that humidity, it looks to still be rising high into the oppressive range as we move throughout the rest of this work week. So uh, even with these rain chances lowering these temperatures down, it still will be feeling pretty humid out there. Even as we wrap up the work week and temperatures rising back up into the upper 90s, we can expect these feels like temperatures to still reach 105 and above, possibly some heat advisories coming back out. Uh, and being issued around the Arklatex by the time we hit the end of our work week coming up. Here's a quick look at future track. Nothing much really going on throughout the rest of the night here, but we will be seeing some cloud cover moving slowly from the northern portions of the region as we move into our afternoon, which could possibly keep those highs in the upper 90s and not so much in the triple digits, possibly bringing about some scattered or isolated, as, as I should say, uh, showers and storms here for the eastern side of the Arklatex mainly, and we look to be mainly dry as we move into our Monday evening evening. Here's our seven day forecast. Triple digits are possible by the time we hit our Monday and Tuesday, mainly dependent on cloud cover. Uh, less cloud cover will have a higher chance of reaching 100 and more cloud cover will have a higher chance of receiving more shade uh, rather than getting beat down by this sunlight that we've been experiencing for the past couple of days. Rain chances look to rise by the time we hit our Wednesday late afternoon into the evening, possibly spilling over into Thursday morning, but temperatures will be back on the rise into the upper 90s as we reach the end of the seven-day period.